What's up, Ichu? This is going to be a guide on how to use Farrah Giraffe on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a set you don't see or a set that works really well for you, let me know about it in the comment section of the video. And let's get into it. So earlier on, I did a Squawk Ability Guide. I did a Oink Alone Guide. And now we're doing this. So this will be today's last upload. Lots of moveset guides. I'm just trying to finish off the Gen 9 Pokemon. We're actually pretty close. Alright, this is actually a really cool Pokemon. I quite like it. Now, I did actually think about doing Giraffe Rig in the same video, but I'm going to do a separate video for Giraffe Rig down the track because it actually runs a little bit differently. Alright, so this Pokemon has some really, really cool abilities. Let's have a look at them and go over what movesets we can use. So, we've got the ability here, Kudchu, which is kind of interesting. So, if this Pokemon eats a berry, it will eat that berry again at the end of the turn, which is kind of cool. That's a really, really interesting ability. Um, we've got Armor Tail, which is a great ability in my opinion. This Pokemon and its allies and its allies are protected from opposing priority moves. That is the top ability in my opinion there. That means you can uh, really, really help out the ally Pokemon. Say if you've got a lot of speed or you're under Trick Room, you know, that's that's very, very nice. I'd say that is probably its uh, best ability in my opinion. And we've also got Sap Zipper too, which is... Uh, Probably it's less usability, but I will cover Sap Sibba uh, in this video. So first, let's have a look at this. Uh, I've got a couple of sets based around Farrah Giraffe. It's actually a really, really nice special attacker. So it's two standout stats. Uh, it's health. We've got 120 base in health, which is great, and 110 base in special attack, which is very, very nice. So, and it's it's all around bulk. It isn't like it's it's not like super amazing, but it's not too shabby either. And it's speeds that it's not really all that good. But I'm gonna do a couple of set it, uh, sets here, and we're gonna go with that. So first thing we've got is an agility set. So this has a nice special attack already. So I've given it modest nature, and I've given it max speed. Now with agility, that's gonna be doubling its base speed, so it's gonna be out spurting virtually everything and with the armor tail you don't have to worry about any priority move which is like very very cool whether you use this in uh your double singles and i've given it the moves hyper voice and throat spray so it does get access to nasty plot i will give that but i didn't want to put agility and nasty plot because that just takes way too long to set up there and you know fair draft isn't you know exactly a fast pokemon so it's going to need to go agility first so yeah, this is a way of actually still giving it a boost in special attack and still attacking at the same time. Now, Hyper Voice is a great move there. That is going to boost up the Throat Spray, so you could use this in doubles if you wanted to. We've got Psychic too, which is always a nice move, uh, Stab. And I've given it Dazzling Gleam, which is great for Dart-type Pokemon, and it hits both of the opponents too. So whether you're using this in singles or doubles, I feel like this set can absolutely work. I've given it Terra-type Fairy. Now, the reason I did that, because most of the time... You know, you've got, like, Dark-type Pokemon as the biggest threat here. Um, I see, I mean, I know there's other things like Bug and stuff too, but I see Dark as being its biggest threat, so I thought Terra Fairy would be very, very nice on it and would work well across the board for this set too. Now, I'd say this set is uh, is a little bit gimmick with agility. I'd say it's still going to be very, very decent though. Um, is it going to be one-shotting stuff? Probably not, but it's going to be quite a nice mid to late game sweeper after that agility. So finish things off on a low amount of health there. The problem is uh, with normal type Pokemon, of course, is normal type is not super effective against anything. So that's one thing um, that it can fall down against. And of course, steel type Pokemon too. So that's uh, that, that's something that it's going to struggle against always against steel type. So it's probably better if you get rid of the steel type Pokemon before sending this in or having another Pokemon like a fire type or a ground type Pokemon um you know, dealing with that. Next set I'd suggest here is going to be a Trick Room set. Now, this could work for singles and for doubles. Matter of fact, I feel like this set is probably the best set to use for it. Um, so we're going to have a look at this. We've got a little bit different sort of EV spread for this one. We've got Max Health. Um, like the, it's that it's health stat is great. You know, look at that. Look at that nice chunky health stat. And we've got Max Special Stack. I've given this Quiet Nature zero IVs in speed. Now, we've got a uh, Trick Room here. It, it can set its own Trick Room up, which is really, really, really nice. Armor Tail is great, uh, uh, great too, because, you know, with the Trick Room up, it's going first. No one can use priority moves against it, which is brilliant. So, Armor Tail is, like, super good on it. So, I've got Dazzling Gleam here, of course. It's very, very similar to the first build I showed you. And we've got Psy Shock. You can give it Psychic, Psy Shock, whatever you like there. Um, with Psy Shock, it actually makes it into a mix, uh, mix Attacker, which you know, adds a little bit of variety and a bit of surprise 
Voice too. So that's up to you what you want to do. And we've got Hyper Voice too, which is going to do some good damage there to both of the Pokemon. Now, as for options here for hitting store type Pokemon, um, it, it's very, very limited. So you'd have to go like something like Terra Fire if you really wanted to. It could work. Absolutely. I've given it Terra Fairy. I explained why at the start there because of the dark weakness. But you could do something like this too. Um, let me go Terra Fire. This would be good for like bug type Pokemon and steel type Pokemon. So don't count out the Terra Fire. That could actually really uh, you know, change the course of the battle there. So that's another option if you want to open that up there. If you don't have any Pokemon on your team that can cover that weakness, you know what I mean? So that would be um, a pretty solid option there too. Uh, the item I've given is Room Service too. So with its, uh, let's have a look at its base speed. So with 60 base speed, that is pretty slow, but there are slower Pokemon out there under Trick Room. So you don't want to be getting outsped under Trick Room. So with the Room Service, that's going to drop your speed by an additional one stage. So that'll allow you to outspeed you know, virtually everything. Um, so that's a nice item for Trick Room if you're into Trick Room, whether you're running singles or doubles. I like to make my guides very general so you can use them in singles, doubles, any sort of uh, rule set. My uh, moveset guides will sort of uh, work well in there. Sometimes you might have to adjust a couple of EVs and stuff like that, whether you're, you know, if you're playing like a Smogon tier, you might want to outspeed a particular Pokemon or doubles. You might want to live like a certain hit, things like that. But mostly these work well across the board. Next set we want to have a look at here is uh, Cut you because this is one of its uh, new abilities. So this can work with like lots and lots of things here. I've come up with a little bit of a gimmicky set here, but it does have some uh, potential. So um, this set here, obviously dark type Pokemon are, are, got, are really going to count it. So you want to be getting rid of the dark types first before you try this. Um, Steel type Pokemon are going to resist it, but boy, they're going to take a hard hit. So it does get stored power, which is a great uh, a great move used with like uh, status moves like Calm Mind. Uh, Calm Mind and Stored Power sort of go hand in hand. Now, I've given this one Wish as well, so it can heal itself. I've given it Agility, so I can further boost up its uh, stored power. And it's also going to help out with its speed. So I've given it Max Health, Max Defense, Bold Nature. Now, it's got Kudchu. So I thought with Kudchu, a really smart berry to run on this would be Staff Berry. Now, with Kudchu, at the end of the turn, it'll actually consume the berry again. So that potentially means you can, if you get the Staff Berry to activate, that'll randomly raise two stats. So that'll give you four stats if you get it, uh, the Staff Berry to activate once, which is, there's a good chance of it happening, right? And imagine if you get like, even as if you get a special attack, you get it, you know, with this set, it, all the stats are really gone, except for attack. Like, that's going to be like the worst one you could get. So... The chance of you getting a stat that's going to be viable for the set are actually very, very high. So, you know, defense is going to be good, special attack, uh, special defense, and speed. You know, it's all going to be really, really good for the set. Probably the less one would be speed, and the more, uh, you know, ones that would be more handy would be defense, special defense, and special attack. But quite a cool little set there. I mean, you could do, there's, there's a lot of things you can do with this. I've built a bulky set. You could run like sweeping sets too. I did like these memes like this. We got our uh, sub. Uh, now you could sub down into you get to the staff berry. That's another option. I'm just going to get rid of this set entirely. So we're going to go with a speedy set here. All right. So it works like this works better on like a speedy sort of set. So we'll go. All right. We'll go timid because we're probably going to need that. Now we're sort of going to try and get a speed stat from staff berry. So that would be awesome. This is based on luck though. You know, if you're really, really, truly worried about speed, you could give it, um, a Salak Berry. That'd be cool. So Salak Berry, you know, you can get a double, a, a plus, a plus two in speed there. So you get modest and then plus two in speed, which will make it very, very speedy, you know, so you could go cut you and protect. That could absolutely work. And then you could give it like some coverage moves. So uh, I'd probably still give it Dazzling Gleam just for dark types. And then you could give it a psychic type move there. So you to give it psychic. So that could be another option you could use for it. Or you could go really fun stuff with Staff Berry and uh, hope you get those stats. But this is more of a hoping thing. So that's more of a, a, a gimmicky set with Staff Berry. But that's why I suggested that bulky set there. Because the Staff Berry would benefit a lot of the stats. Rather than, you know, hoping for a certain specific stats there. Which, you know, you could roll uh, two a st attack stats in a row and get plus four on attack and be completely useless. But a little bit of fun there. Um, I, I like Kachu. It's quite an interesting ability on uh, Farrager Up. 
So that's a set there uh, for Kudchu. There's probably there's a, probably a mountain of sets you could do with Kudchu. So if you've got any other sets that are different to this, so please let me know in the comment section. I'd just like to see other people's ideas and stuff. I could probably come across like uh, loads of them, but uh, I don't want to do like an hour video. So we'll just uh, have a look at this one here. Uh, let's have a look at the next set. We've got a physical set. So Sap Sipper is probably the less seen ability that is going to be used on Farrah Giraffe in my opinion. Um, I'm just sort of thinking, yeah, like the other abilities are so much better, especially because it's not primarily a physical attacker, but it actually does have a base of a 90 of attack, which isn't all that bad. So let's have a look at a bulky set here. So this is going to be a choice band set. Um, you could also run this in trick room too. So instead of choice band, instead of trick, you could have trick room and run it there. That would work quite kind of nicely. You know, you, you might not run sap zipper though. You might be inclined to run armor tail, but you know, whatever you could run uh, one of the two. Uh, we've got earthquake there. That would be good for hitting steel type Pokemon. We've got Psychic Fangs, which is a great physical uh, uh, psychic stab there because you can destroy screens, which is really, really good, you know. Uh, and we've got Body Slam there too. So Body Slam, high base power of 85, 30% chance to paralyze too, which is cool. Um, you probably want to go for something different on Trick Room though. Um, you don't want to paralyze the opponent. And we've got Trick too. So, you know, in comes a Toxpex. Oh, 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 well, probably not a Toxpex. In comes like a steel type Pokemon. Um, it's going to be Stalling or like Garganackle. Boom, give him the trick of the choice band so it won't be able to use Iron Defense and or lock itself into Stealth Rock, stuff like that. And then you're free to still use your other moves at the same time. If you were using this in Trick Room, let me uh, let me see right here because the, the EVs would be exactly the same. Okay. So we want to go for a normal type move that will work better. You don't really... Oh, we got Facade. That's... Okay. It, it actually really doesn't have too many... Hmm, go for Stomp. So we got Stomp in Trick Room. Now that's actually got a good chance of flinching. So you could go something like, I had Terra, also I had Terra Ground on that too, so that you could hit still types for a bit powerful, but you could go, this is a Pip Knight specially. So we got our normal Stomp, and we could even give it Silk Scarf as well. So Silk Scarf Stomp under the Trick Room. So with that uh, stab, 65 base power, normal stab and Silk Scarf on top of it, that has a 30% chance to flinch too. You'd be really annoying the opponent. That could be quite funny. And then you've got the uh, the Psychic Fangs and Earthquake and Trick Room, of course. And with this bulky build, you're going to be living lots of attacks too. So there you go. Uh, a bit of a fun set there. That's how you make use of Sap Sipper. Sap Sipper is all right there, but most of the time you're not going to be using it. Um, it's good for absorbing those grass type moves, but that's about it. And if you do get hit by a uh, you know, grass type move there, you're going to get a plus one in attack, which is going to be only benefiting you with a physical set. Uh, another one you could run on this. I was thinking like a really crazy offensive choice spec set. So we got Hyper Beam here. So really, you just you're going for one hit KOs here. So you got Hyper Beam. You got Future Sight. So you could put up a real powerful Future Sight there. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, of course, and we got Trick too. So we could always get rid of that choice specs and uh, trick off a choice specs to a support Pokemon or a physical attacker or just an, an annoying uh, you know the opponent then shutting a Pokemon down. Uh, modest uh, max special attack and max health. And Armor Tail, of course, as the item because you'd probably be running this one under Trick Room as well if it was me. So you could, you know, you could adjust those IVs there at the same time to zero. If you didn't want to run Armor Tail, I mean, you could run Sap Zip if you wanted to, but that wouldn't really benefit. So I'd probably just give it Armor Tail anyway. That's still kind of handy because, you know, the opponent could still be something like Sizzy, you know, of Bullet Punch and things like that. So, yeah, uh, that's an option you could run on this too as a bulky choice spec set. Uh, last one we got here is a Pip Knight Special. Uh, this is absolutely trash, but if you want to do some trolling and have some fun, here we go. So it actually gets a cool move called Twin Beam. Twin Beam's uh, a psychic type move that's special and it hits two times in uh, one turn. So it's got 40 base power and it is going to be hitting twice. That's 80 base power. So that's actually pretty kind of strong. You know, you've got 80 base power and two hits, which is cool. 100% uh, you know, accuracy too. So it does have a chance of critting on each turn, which could be powerful than uh, Psychic, you know. So an option there. Uh, so we've got King's Rock there for two hits and we've got Thunder Wave. So we're going to try and go for a mix here with double hit. So we got, you know, double hit and Twin Beam there for Twin Stab. 
twin trolling, agility, and thunder wave here. So we're going to try and flinch the opponent and make their life, you know, virtually a misery, right? So we've got uh, max attack and max special attack, mix, complete mix sort of sets there. Rash nature, boosting a special attack. We really want to get the best out of that special attack stat. And agility to give it a nice speed boost. And after a thunder wave, you won't be getting outsped. And it's got overall bulk too. It's got that nice 120 base in uh, health there. So you could get away with shen shenanigans. And I've given it armor tail as well. So there you go. I've given you some, uh, you know, some very com some competitive sets, some fun sets, and some absolutely horrendous troll sets if you want to give them a go. Um, some options there uh, for partners. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head here. Ooh, what would be a good partner? So Gold Goldengo would be a good partner there. Um, if you if you weren't worried about the Dark type Pokemon too. Uh, Chien, actually Chien, I'm thinking Chien Pao wouldn't be too bad either. Like that would that wouldn't be too bad. So Chien Pao, um, mainly because of that um that Dark typing there, that could really really get rid of. Or just help out, or just get a good swap in. You know what I mean? And then you know if any sort of uh fighting type Pokemon, this would be able to deal with them with a Psychic move, so that could work. Uh, Cyclozar is always another good one to run along with it. You could get a sub up there, and it could hide behind the sub, and you could get your agility going, or your trick room going, those sort of things. Uh, options there for this Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to try to think of some other options here. Grimmsnarl is another good one. I mean, Grimmsnarl just works so well with so many different Pokemon, so, you know, you've got its uh, weaknesses you sort of got sort of weaknesses covered there, and you've got a nice swap in for a Reflect and Light Screen Pokemon. But that's going to be about it for Farrah Giraffe. Um, I've sort of gone over its best sort of sets there. It's a night nice, uh, to sum it up. It's it's not exactly hard to get around. It's very very slow. It doesn't really have any survivability, but it does hit very very hard. And it's a nice Trick Room Pokemon, and it's immune to those prior to moves, which makes it really really cool. So quite a good Pokemon in my opinion. Nothing super amazingly overpowered, but it's got a good little niche there on especially on trick room teams uh and as a big special attacking pokemon or you could try and make it a speedy uh special attacker there with agility or a nasty plot there is that option too that's about it for fairy giraffe i will do a guide on uh giraffe rig down the track there because it does run a little bit differently um you know with everlight and stuff and probably same with uh, the Dunsparce and Dunsparce. I'll probably do them in different guides too. But uh, that's about it for today's video. If you haven't checked out the other two guides, make sure you do. And I'll be back tomorrow with a... I've got some theme teams coming up tomorrow and stuff like that. All right, people. Peace out.